Namaste. Hi everyone, this is Michelle, your certified yoga and fitness instructor, as well as plant-based whole food educator. So today we're gonna to be focusing on those abdominals, both the upper sides and lower. And we're going to do standing abdominals. What I love about this is that you can basically do them in many different places and you don't have to get up and down off the floor. So with that, let's get started. And it only takes a few minutes each day to work that strong core strength. All right, so separate your feet slightly and you can wear sneakers if you like as well for more stability. I just happen to be barefooted today. So it's good to root down and feel grounded as well in all connected four corners of your feet. So let's just roll those shoulders back. It's only going to take a few minutes out of your day and then just gently dropping to one side and then the other. Gently, not forcing it, but starting to activate your abdominals, pulling your belly in, dropping your tailbone. Nice and easy, going at your own pace. Good. Just one more each side. And coming on up. Alrighty, to get started, we're gonna balance on our left leg, hand comes to that left waist, reach your right leg out, reach your right arm up, and you're going to pull your right knee up to the shoulder and bring your right elbow to the inside of your right thigh, right? So squeezing down, working that side and lower abdominal. You wanna engage your abdominals here, and I don't want you to think of jerky motions, right? Five more. Try to work up to 10 on each side. If you're having some challenges with your um, balance or stability, two more here, you can hold on to a chair or a table for balance or whatever is convenient, a wall. Good, now we have the other side, right? So let's get that balance and footing, pull the belly in. Remember, slow and controlled. You wanna focus on the movement, right? Really find that squeeze when you come in, isometrically squeezing, pulling that knee up to the left thigh this, uh, up to the left shoulder this time, and pulling that left elbow down to the inside of your left thigh. Good, five more. That's one. Pull the belly in. Find your stability. So that means you need to have a strong standing leg as well. Two more on this side. Good, releasing. Now from here, we're going to get into our wide-legged squat position. So we're also gonna worry working those legs a little bit. Drop down, pull the belly in if you need to stay up a little higher. Get into your punch stance here, elbows up in front, protect that face, right? And you're gonna punch, right? Good, just punching, side to side, side to side, good. Pull the belly in, keep the spine upright. All right, working through that core center. Good, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, coming on up, stepping the feet closer together. Again, we're gonna go back to a bit of a balance here. That left hand on your left hip, reach your right leg right arm out and you don't have to touch your toes we're just going to focus on the right leg trying to reach up up right reaching it up pull that belly in right you want to pull that low abdominal in reach your right arm good five more here four three two one. What I love is, on the other side, these compound movements because we're also working that standing leg, engaging muscle tone, a gentle squeeze of the glute to keep the chest lifted. Good. Try not to swing the leg. Remember, we're working on controlled movements. Good. Four more. Three. Two. One, very nice. Alrighty, from here, 
We're going to bring one hand on top of the other, about shoulder height or chest height. All right, and I will turn to the side you could, so you can see me as well. All right, you're gonna have a soft bend in your knees, feet about hips width apart, and you're gonna bring each knee over to the side. Think of towards your forearms or towards your elbow. Opposite elbow, that is. All right? So, just finding that little bit of twist for the obliques, the lower abdominals, and even raising your heart rate slightly. But remember, we're working on controlled movements, not swinging the body or the legs around. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one each side good job all right separate your feet slightly soft bend in those knees bring those elbows up again and now we're just going side to side side to side all right keep the hips forward pull that belly in breathing using that diaphragmatic breath the more you can breathe out on the exhale a forceful exhale you will engage your abdominals more. Stay with it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, take a big breath in and full breath out. Inhaling. Dropping your right arm down, take a nice side bend. Inhale, coming up. Releasing that left arm down, take a nice side bend. Inhale, coming up. Release the arms down, roll those shoulders up and down your back. And there you have it, your standing abs. Do that each and every day for a stronger, healthier you. And if you really feel like a challenge, do that two or three more cycles. Have a great day, everyone. Look forward to seeing you and tune in for more fitness tips and yoga. Namaste.